suffered several um, lacerations about his body. It was in January when a man was attacked and kidnapped outside the Royal Gardens Apartments on Old 3rd Street Road. He was driven to North 38th Street where officers later found him bound by plastic ties but alive inside his car's trunk. Police say he was lured into the apartment parking lot by Jasmine Wathel, who he had been seeing for several months. According to the victim, she woke him up to tell him that someone had busted his car window and the alarm was going off. And when he did not come back inside the apartment right away... He's pulling out, like his car's pulling out. It pulled out and went this way. Deep into the police interrogation, she confessed her role. Wathel claims... Stefan Garcia threatened to kill her if she did not participate. Garcia was hoping to strike his own deal. I'll tell you where he's at. Come. Okay. I'm alive. Come. Okay. And that's, that's my word. Okay. Just get me, All right. get me on the phone with a couple of my people. All right, let me see what I can do. And I'll help you. Help me. The victim's blood stained clothing is now evidence. He says he was knocked out part of the time, but does remember a phone conversation his captors had with his brother. I heard him asking for 100000 and then my brother was like, man, ain't nobody got no 100000 lying around like that. Stefan Garcia originally told investigators his only role was to pick up a ransom at a viaduct in West Louisville. He wants to look for a bag of cash in an old tire. So you get up there and you see that? I got out the truck and I grabbed the bag and got back in the truck and I opened it up. It was closed. These four people have been charged with kidnapping. They are due back in court next week.